Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast here, jumping back into Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk here on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, we might have problems. So last episode, we did a little bit of time traveling to see if we were even capable of growing hybrid flowers. The answer was yes. We were able to sprout up a single purple flower. The problem is, I did not... I should have picked it up, in, in theory. Or in hindsight, I should say. I should have picked it up and put it in my pocket. It can't wilt in the in my pocket. I'm afraid... It's been a couple of days. It's been like a weekend. Uh, I'm afraid that I'm going to go back to this thing and it's going to be gone. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll even be more of them, but I, I severely doubt that. <laughs> so this is the moment of truth, basically. We're going to run over uh, and see... It is raining. Uh, we're going to run over and see if this freaking flower is still there. Please, please, please. Oh god, it's wilting, though. It's still here, but it's wilting. So we're gonna do some more time traveling, I think. So I'm gonna water that bad boy. <laughs> so that's, that's So that tomorrow is okay? Or it's okay? Flea market, da 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 I missed Zipper T Bunny Day, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm assuming... Yeah, so there's not going to be anything there until the 20th, if I recall correctly. So let me just real quick save and quit. I don't know if any butterflies... Can butterflies be out during the rain anyway? This was supposed to be a big peacock butterfly hunting episode, and it's raining today. And my my flower is wilted. So I need I need both of those things to go away. I need the wilting to go away, and I need the rain to go away. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to time travel to tomorrow. And we're gonna... We're gonna deal with some stuff tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, other things. Other things, Rover. Other things. Uh, yeah, it's a time of day. <laughs> you always gotta be touchy with that menu. Because got, cause set time is just one click away from destroy and rebuild town. <laughs> one, nine. The question is, is this gonna... I watered my flower. Time traveling isn't gonna expedite its death, right? It's gonna, it's gonna expedite its rejuvenation. Can we assume these things? I guess we're gonna find out, huh? We're gonna find out. <laughs> I think that's fine. I think time traveling to to save flowers is is a normal thing that you can do. Hopefully, it's not raining again today, though. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. Hopefully my flowers are there. <laughs> and we can get underway with this, uh... <laughs> we should probably check. Once we confirm that the flower is there and alive and well, uh, we'll then confirm... Please. Please be there. Okay, we're good. We're good. So... Now we're going to confirm really quickly uh, that, you know, what time this this, this butterfly is out. Because that's important, right? That's kind of crucial. Uh, bugs, city folk. Bugs, city folk. Okay. So we're going to try to... Peacock butterfly. 4 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, yeah. So it's an all-day occurrence. <laughs> I should have probably time traveled to the 20th. <laughs> so what do you think we should... Like, how, how do we... Do we, like, run away and then... Come back to it? And hope that something new spawned? Or... 
Do I have to catch this butterfly to get it away? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna catch everything that I see up there, and then I'm gonna run into the museum to try to like reset and refresh outside, and then I'll run back out and see if I uh, see if something new has spawned. I think that's gonna be the best strat, the most <laughs> the most efficient strat here. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Is it a peacock butterfly? Yes, dude! Yes, 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 yes! We did it. Easy. I don't even know what to do with the rest of this episode. Because that was the entire episode. That was the entire episode. I, I don't know what to do now. I think, right? Yeah, we needed the peacock butterfly. That was the whole thing. We've been trying for that for, like, a year now. Okay, what about, uh, what other guys are available right now? Anything? So, the mon the Emperor Butterfly is not available. Let me just scroll down and see if anything became available in April. Uh, the Honey Bee, but we don't need that, right? Yeah. Um, the Honey Bee also didn't become available this month, I should note. The Mantis and the Orchid Mantis? Yeah, those are both here. And then it's just like dragonflies and cicadas, right? That I still need. Which are all like super summer. Super summer bugs. <laughs> and I have the snail already, right? Yeah. <laughs> and ladybug. After the ladybug is. Da 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 da. Fleas. We have a flea already, right? For sure. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so I'm thinking... <clears throat> I'm thinking that's everything. Yeah. As far as, uh, bugs go, that's everything. Let me see about fish. <clears throat> we'll check on fish just to be thorough, but I don't think it's going to be a uh... <laughs> fish city folk. <laughs> so after the loach, right? <laughs> after the loach is the catfish. Comes out next month, actually. <laughs> The cherry salmon and the char both come out. But I think I have those, right? Char, cherry salmon's the one before it. Uh, after the string fish is what? The salmon, which is not out this month, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> the guppy comes out this month, but that's right there, right? Yeah. And then the angel fish comes out next month. The Neon Tetra comes out this month, but we already have that one. And, uh, okay, then all these other ones come out. Mm. Seahorse, Clownfish. Seahorse, Clownfish, uh, Butterflyfish. Napoleonfish doesn't come out until next month, I think, it said. Oh, no, not until deep summer, it looks like. Uh, and then we got, after the lobster is what? The moray eel, which comes out in late summer, or actual summer, I should say. And then again, the blue marlin, nunca, until the summertime. And, uh, yeah, the hammerhead shark, which comes out summer as well. So yeah, the peacock butterfly was it, guys. The peacock butterfly was it. I don't even know if we need it in the museum. We're gonna find out. We might be one butterfly closer to uh, completing our museum. That might have just been a personal thing. Like, my sister might have already put that in to the museum before me. <laughs> Which I don't really care about. As long as the museum gets completed, I don't care who uh, has put them in there. But I do, I do also want to complete my Critterpedia so I can say I did catch every bug and every fish uh, in the game. <laughs> Along with completing the museum overall. So the peacock butterfly is now secured. Uh, screw it. Let's 
Let's save and quit. And we're gonna time travel to um tomorrow, the twent or tomorrow tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, the twentieth. Uh because then we can go at least see if we can get a piece of artwork from Red. And then we'll time travel back and then we'll screw up the whole space time continuum. Time traveling is addicting. Can we talk about that? Maybe I'll maybe I'll time travel back if we still have time uh, to Bunny Day. So <laughs> we'll see, and we'll engage in what I consider to be uh, one of the best forms of Bunny Day: zippity skippity. <laughs> I am John. Yeah, I know. Zippity skippity bippity a. It's bunny day. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, we're just blazing through. That, that was the one thing. I expected that to take the entire episode. That was the one thing I had planned for this episode. Because I don't want to time travel like months in, in advance. I just wanted to time travel, you know, a day. Or two. Well, once I saw the wilting... I didn't want to time travel at all, but once I saw the wilting purple flower, I knew that there was only one way I was going to recover that. I should have just put it in my pocket. <laughs> like. And I think I will. This episode, just in case. I don't know if there are any outstanding bugs that I, ha <clears throat> that I haven't caught yet. Uh, that require hybrid flowers, specifically purple ones. I'm not totally sure, but I'm going to probably rip that up and uh, put it in my pocket, put it in storage or in my house so that I have it I can plant it whenever I have to catch another bug uh, that requires them I don't, know, I don't know if they exist I don't know if another bug that requires a purple flower exists but if it does we're gonna, we're gonna keep track of it <laughs> because yeah like I said, I, I was gone for a couple of days and the red and the white flowers uh, survived but my purple flower was wilting and, uh, and I'm not trying to have to, you know, create another hybrid flower. I don't have the best of luck with those things. But anyway, let's see if we can uh, run an errand here and get a legit piece of artwork here. <clears throat> We're one for one so far in, uh, in completing our tasks for the day. Let's see if there's any legit artwork that we can add to the museum as well. And make two big contributions. <laughs> I've definitely seen this painting before, this jolly painting. I don't know if it was in this version of the game, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean them out. This actually might be the best, uh... The best move from here on out. You know what? No, I don't actually... Now that I think about it, I don't actually think it, it expedites anything. I think it just resets. I think the, the inventory resets on the day, and if you clear them out, it's just closed until that day that it would otherwise reset. I'm not 100% sure. I don't care. Take me home. Next bus to Domoberg. Let's get back on the bus, see if we can cash this, uh, this painting in and see if it's legit. I highly doubt it will be, but I'm just, I'll be pretty content, honestly, if it's just not in my museum already. Like, that would prove to me that, that, uh, he's still capable of getting new, new crap. <laughs> Okay. Skipping through the, uh... Good old Cap'n's dialogue. I skipped through the through Cap'n's dialogue in this game. A, because you can. Uh, but also... Because... Or, I, I shouldn't say that. Uh, I skipped because I can. But I also do want to go on record saying... Uh, it's still refreshing after all these years to listen to Cap'n's speeches. 
here in City Folk, because in comparison to New Horizons, New Horizons is kind of weak sauce. I just want to go up here again and see if there's another... That I feel like that would be too... too lucky to run up here and get another Peacock Butterfly. I don't know, are Peacock Butterflies valuable? <laughs> you know what, I don't even care. I actually don't even care if they're valuable because I have infinite money in this game, pretty much. So. <laughs> you know what? No. I have to build suspense. Let me... Actually, it's not even building suspense. I just want to... I want to see if this painting's already in here. <laughs> So far, so good. This is the painting I've seen tw like twice in a row now, and it's extremely frustrating. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at how many paintings I actually have. So far, so good, though. <laughs> Let me check this back room real quick. To confirm that this, this jolly painting is not yet donated. <laughs> This back room makes me sad, though. There's just nothing back here, really. Alright. So, if this is legit, it is a new painting for the museum. This could be huge. <laughs> huge if legit. Huge if true. Let's go. Here's the, uh, the moment of truth, Blathers. <sighs> Which one is it? Dynamic painting. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't donate that. It's fake, though. <gasps> it's legit. It's legit, guys. Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me try to donate this dynamic painting and just see what the deal is. Is this the the wave one? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so let me go in here and see this jolly painting on the wall. I'm stoked. We made two two contributions to the museum today. <laughs> So one whole wall is complete. Ooh, and there it is. So this might be a second whole wall complete. It is, dude. This first room, we're missing only one... Uh... Two, three, three paintings missing in this first room. And then this sad back room, I know, has a couple that are missing, but... Three, four, five... Six. Six. We are missing just six paintings. And the art wing is finally complete here in Animal Crossing City Folk. I'm so excited. This is my entire childhood. Just like, I got ripped off so many times in a row that I just literally gave up. And I think when I picked up this Let's Play series, I might have had like, I don't know, one, maybe two paintings in that museum. And now we're finally almost, I want to say almost complete with it. Uh, it's not really almost complete, but we're getting somewhere. We're six away from being complete, which is freaking awesome. I'm gonna rip that up. And, uh, from there we're gonna save. <laughs> what is all this crap in my pocket, though? Oh, these are all things I just bought at that... Yeah. <laughs> Let me go sell this crap, and then we're gonna go celebrate our big, uh... Our big success uh, by zipping back to, to Zipper T Bunny Day. It'll be a whole time travel episode, and then it'll probably be the last time travel episode uh, for a while. Maybe in the near future. I know people have been wanting me to do live streams of City Folk, uh, which I would not be opposed to at all. Uh, I don't have it so I can play online right now. I can try to figure that out. Um... <laughs> But with that being said, I would definitely be more than willing to do a let's or a live stream. 
maybe I would do like a time traveling live stream where I just bounce from like refresh day to refresh day uh, with Crazy Red and just see if I can, oops, see if I can finish up uh, my art wing of my museum. That would be pretty dope, but we'll see. <laughs> Save complete. So we're going to zip back to Zipper T Bunny Day, which was actually just yesterday. I'm recording on Monday, the 18th. So it's literally just yesterday. So it's not like I'm really going back all that far. <laughs> And I wasn't home to uh, to play Animal Crossing for Zipper T Bunny Day yesterday, so we'll step back. I missed Festive Holiday this year too. I'm missing all the fun holidays, guys. It's whatever. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the 17th, which is a Sunday, correct? <laughs> oh wait, it's actually 1:40 now. All this time traveling has put my clock back five minutes. Right, I knew. It couldn't be more you. Just weird that you're coming back in time. But no comment. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, so we got about 10 minutes here. Uh, to run around and enjoy Zipper T Bunny Day. This might be the only game that I play Bunny Day for this year. Wait, why is it not Bunny Day though? Or is it? It's just like a rainy, dreary bunny day. I thought there was—I thought there was more festive festivity to it than this. There he is. This is really horror movie esque, though. With like the way the clouds—it's like a dreary day. Boingity boing, hello there. Spring is in the air, flippity boing, floppity zibbit. And I'm Zipper T Bunny, the lucky spring rabbit. That didn't rhyme as well as he thought it did. How are you today? Yeesh, I hate it when they look at me like that. Boingity bing, spring is in the air. The air is warm, the flowers are blooming. Doesn't it feel great? None of that rhymed. Doesn't it make you want to run and skip and play? Doesn't it just make the inside of your mask all hot and sweaty? So today, to celebrate springtime, come and play a little game with me. Are you ready to start? Then let's give it a go. Flippity skippity lookity f looking for eggs. Bippity boppity using your legs. Where could they be? Ya ho ya hey. Bring them all to me. Ya hippity day. Ha hoo. <laughs> Hard to breathe in this thing. Crack open the eggs and peek inside. You might just find a surprise. Bring it to... I don't even know if that was supposed to rhyme. Inside and surprise. I made it rhyme. I forced it, but I don't think it was supposed to. Uh, bring it here for a bunny day treat. <laughs> Alright. Crap. It's a freaking gyroid. The one... The one uh, buried thing today... That isn't a bunny egg, and I found it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. How many gyroids are there? I'm just trying to dig up bunny eggs. <laughs> are there any bunny eggs hidden in town today? What about this one? <laughs> There's a bunny egg. I dug up a bunny egg. Alright, let's open it up. See what we got. Ah, oh, crap. Stupid candy. This is the thing, though. So on Bunny Day in City Folk, you stock up on candy. So then when Halloween comes around, you're just the most rich, rich in candy guy, you know, in town. You have candy of every, of every variety. I just want to get one... Okay, there are two over here. I just want to get one bunny foil. Oh, that's a fossil. Crap. I guess I should have dug these up in previous days. Where's this other one? Oh, here it is. 
Oh my god, dude. I got two bunny eggs and more more gyroids than I've seen in this game for months all of a sudden. What the heck, man? Okay, there's a bunny egg. Swap it with uh crap, I didn't know it was gonna I don't I don't care. Let me just Oh crap, I didn't mean to drop it though. I meant to actually eat it. Scarf, 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 scarf. Here we go. So now we got the bunny egg. Okay, so now let's open these bunny eggs and see what we got. Wait, why is there only one? Did I only get one? Oh yeah, I guess I did. Okay, we got a bunny foil though, and that's all that matters. Let me scarf down this, uh, other candy. There's another bunny egg, okay. I remember getting so stoked just having pockets full of bunny foils. Another freaking piece of candy. Piece of candy? The special candy? Okay, let me, uh... Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba. Yes! Alright. We got two bunny foils. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him from behind, and he's gonna yell at me. Hey, what are you looking at my zipper for? There it is, see? He's an, he's a fraud. He's an imposter. Hey, kid, how about talking to my face and not my tail, huh? You probably don't want to spend too long looking back there anyway. Lol. Okay. Flippity skippity, looking for eggs. Bippity poppity, using your legs. What? Flippity hey, boingity yay, you found a bunny foil. Congratulations. All right, hand over that prize ticket, please. <laughs> Guess what you've won? A special bunny day treat. It's an egg bench, and it's all yours. Luckity hoppity hippity hey. Yeesh, I gotta get a new job. Ho, hey, luckity yay. Superty duperty, luckity all you. Okay, I got another one, though. <laughs> Blippity skippity. Okay, yeah, he says the same thing. Lookity hey, boyity wow, you found another one. Yeesh, how many of those things did I bury anyway? Congratulations. All right, hand over that prize ticket, please. See, this is this is peak zipper tea bunny. Cause it's 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 very simple. It's tit for tat. You give them you give them a bunny foil. You don't have to craft things. You don't have to collect different kinds of eggs. You get candy, uh, which you can use for follow up holidays, which is helpful. Uh, or you get bunny day foils, uh, which you can redeem for prizes. And he gives them to you right away, and there's no there's no malarkey. And also, his character is more interesting. He's like this... Uh, he's the one mascot, like, holiday mascot, that is an imposter. But can blink still. Zipper T does blink, which is interesting. Uh, it's an egg wall. But see, like, this little, this little monologue down here. And it's all yours, luckity hoppity hippity hey. Yeesh, fogged up the mask again. Ho oh, hey, lookity there, you did it again. Now that's hardly fair. Superty duperty, lucky old you. But then, like, for me, for example, right? I'm not into uh, the egg stuff. I don't need that. So I run inside here. And then I come in here and I make a fortune. I make a killing. You can make a killing. You ready for this? How much do you think these things are going to sell for? Let's find out, shall we? 17,888 bells. You know how many fossils I would have to sell? Or fish I'd have to sell to reach that? That's two items. You could just That's how you binge money in this game. And I wish that kind of way to binge money was in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Because realistically, it doesn't have to be as hard. As it is to make money. Like, it's not super hard. It's not ridiculously difficult to make money in New Horizons. 
but it's certainly more difficult than it is in City Folk. Like, there should be, it's only one day a year, and even, like, New Horizons has better measures in place to keep people from time traveling to holidays, right? And spamming like this? Crap. But, you know how, uh, I just wish, I wish they left holidays alone, to, in, in, a, in a way. I don't know. I'm gonna try to get one more bunny foil, if I can. Uh, but I'll do so on my way down. Oh my god, dude, there are three of them. And it's another freaking gyroid, dude. It's another freaking gyroid! I'm actually on my way to the museum, though. I'm gonna try to, uh... I'm gonna try to cash in this... These gyroids and see if there are any, uh... Not cash them in, per se, but... See if there are any new ones from my collection. Bunny foil? Hey! Alright, so we'll go up there then and, uh... Bunny eggs everywhere. See, in New Horizons, Bunny Day is, uh... Is not great because it, it stunts you from collecting other things. Because, like, all the balloons... Uh, that float by are air eggs, and the fish you're trying to catch are water eggs, and it's kind of cool, but it would be significantly cooler if it was a one-day-only thing, and if bunny stuff wasn't craftable, and if bunny stuff was more valuable, and it was a little bit more like this. Like, the gameplay itself isn't bad, but it should, it should be reduced. It shouldn't be a month-long travesty like it is. <laughs> Alright, so we can do one at a time. A mega decoid. Okay. So that one's already in the collection. How about a mini squelchoid? Okay, so the mini squelchoid is new for the collection. What about a mega clankoid? Okay, mega clankoid already in the collection. But a tall bowtoid. Okay, a tall bowtoid, uh, also already in the collection. <laughs> Alright, so we did get one new gyroid for the collection here. I don't spend a lot of time, uh, digging up gyroids, but I do, I do intend on, uh, trying to complete my gyroid collection. Now, this one was here already, uh, from the other day. So I know it's probably not a bunny egg. This one, on the other hand. <laughs> Let's check this bunny egg. And see what we got going here. It is a... Gandhi! So we'll make our way back up to... Zipper T with this one bunny foil. Unless this is another bunny foil. <laughs> ah. Hey, it's another bunny foil. Flippity, skippity, lookity for eggs. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to read all this again. All right, here you go. There you go, zipper. Egg stereo. Okay. And now we immediately run up here and sell it. <laughs> Immediately just go cash for gold uh, and sell this crap. I don't want any of this bunny day crap. I just want to sell it right away. We're at 50,000 now. Let's put in, let's chalk another 20,000 up on that, shall we? Let's put another 20,000 on top of that egg chair, egg stereo. What are you going to give me? 18,000? Sold. It's up to 68,000 bells uh, for doing close to nothing. So thank you so much for watching. 
uh, my little time traveling episode here. I guess as I sign off, I'll set the clock back to the correct time, right? Uh, so we hit Bunny Day, because I missed it originally. Um, but, and then we also, uh, we got the Peacock Butterfly at long last. Um, with the help of a little bit of time traveling. And then we got a brand new painting for the museum, also with a little bit of help from time traveling. Um, none, of, none of which were like, I didn't, I wouldn't say it was like cheating time traveling. It was just expediting the process. There was no telling that just by time traveling, I would get a, a legitimate piece of artwork, right? It was just that a, a, a piece of artwork would be available. And the same thing with the peacock butterfly. There was no guarantee. It was just, I time traveled to a day that it wasn't rainy and uh, the flower would not be wilted. But anyway, I'm a dirty, stinking cheater here in Animal Crossing City Folk. Let me, let me change the, uh, the clock back. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel here uh, and ring the bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel uh, and when I upload new video content such as this. Um, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, let me just change this back here. Make sure that's correct. That's actually 56. Ba -ba -da. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna log in just to make sure that clock change saves. Um, but yeah, until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.